to verify the law of conservation of mass in the case of a chemical change. The law of conservation of mass states that matter can be changed from one form into another, mixtures can be separated or made, and pure substances can be decomposed. But the total amount of mass remains constant. The total mass of the universe is constant within measurable limits. Whenever matter undergoes a change, the total mass of the products of the change is, within measurable limits, the same as the total mass of the reactants. Ma'am, how can we verify the law of conservation of mass in the case of a chemical change? During a chemical change, the mass of the reactants is equal to the mass of the products. Mass can neither be created nor be destroyed. It can be demonstrated using a precipitation reaction between barium chloride and sodium sulfate. The chemical reaction involved are barium chloride sodium sulfate gives barium sulfate and 2 sodium chloride. The ionic equation is Ba2 plus SO4 2 minus gives BaSO4. Let's do an experiment to verify the law of conservation of mass in the case of a chemical change. Our aim here is to verify the law of conservation of mass in the case of a chemical change. The materials required are barium chloride, sodium sulfate, distilled water, 2 beakers of 100 ml, 150 ml and 250 ml each, physical balance, spring balance, 0 to 500 gram, polythene bag, 2 watch glasses, glass rod, measuring cylinder, 100 ml. Procedure With the help of a measuring cylinder, pour 100 ml distilled water in 2 beakers of 100 ml. Using the physical balance, weigh 2 watch glasses. Weigh 7.2 gram of barium chloride and 16.1 gram of sodium sulfate in separate watch glasses. Now, dissolve each of the weighed barium chloride and sodium sulfate in separate 100 ml beakers containing 100 ml water. Take a third beaker, 250 ml, and weigh it using a spring balance and polythene bag. Add both the solutions of 100 ml beakers in the third 250 ml beaker and mix properly using a glass stirrer. After some time, a white precipitate is seen in the beaker. This is barium sulfate, formed due to precipitation reaction. Now again, weigh the beaker containing the reaction mixture to determine the mass of the reaction products and compare the masses of reactants and products of the chemical reactions. Observations Mass of 100 ml distilled water is equal to 100 grams. Mass of barium chloride is equal to 7.2 gram. Mass of barium chloride solution is equal to 107.2 gram. Mass of sodium sulfate is equal to 16.1 gram. Mass of sodium sulfate solution is equal to 116.1 gram. Total mass of reactants is equal to 223.3 gram. Solutions of BaCl2 and Na2SO4. Mass of empty 250 ml beaker M1 is equal to X gram. Initial mass of reaction mixture and empty beaker before precipitation M2 is equal to M1 plus 222.3 gram is equal to X gram. The final mass of reaction mixture in the beaker after the precipitation M3 is equal to X gram. Result, on comparing the mass of reactants M2 with the mass of products M3, we find M2 is equal to M3 within a reasonable limit. This proves the law of conservation of mass.
precautions accurate measurement of the masses should be ensured the spring balance should be held vertical while taking measurements before taking readings ensure that the pointer of the spring balance is at zero mark the reading of spring balance should be noted when its pointer comes to rest use only a small amount of chemicals for the experiment mix solutions of barium chloride and sodium sulfate slowly with a constant stirring thank you ma'am you have given a great knowledge through this experiment